Yeah, you live on your uh, Zorba One, I'm telling you, radio. Shouts to all us subscribers worldwide. Fans worldwide, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy. Uh, shouts to all my social media people who's holding me down right now. RBL, um, Rivals Battle League, what's the deal? It's your boy ESGN, you already know. You know what I mean? AKA I Jordan. You're not seeing. And then this one right here is um, a promo joint, you know what I mean? For the radio fans that love me. Um, for um, I Jordan's top 10 football clips. Um, I had a fan that, that called in. Um, I wanted to know my liveest game in college, and I'm gonna give it to you guys right now. I'm gonna. I, I don't know if I should wait um, for a few more people to get in the room, or should I just wait and just go ahead and post it? Either way, we're gonna do that. You're gonna get it on YouTube on on my channel. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go into that because that was epic. I think you know the fans need that right now. It's funny that the fan asked me that because. I had a lot of wars, a lot of classic games, and I, and I would like to thank everybody that was a part of the, the whole entire movement, you know what I'm saying, from from the, the bottom to the top, the players all the way to the, you know, to everybody that set it up, the camera people, everybody, you know what I'm saying, cheerleaders, the staff, um, training, everything for this one right here. This was a classic, you know, um, game I'm gonna take you through, which was the num us, my team, in college versus the number two team in the country. You absorb what I'm telling you. Um, the university, the U. And so I'm gonna leave it like that, the initial king. You know what I'm saying? For my RBL people that's following me right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a lot of a lot of that initially. You know what I mean? But everybody should be able to link it on. We're gonna be able to make sure you know exactly who I'm talking about. You know, some of the people that I'm mentioning. But this week right here was the loudest week of my life. <clears throat> Fans worldwide. Let me tell let me tell you, let me talk to you real quick and tell you why it was the loudest. You know, I hope you're following me right now. Um, my social media people on FB fans, I love y'all. But yo, if you wanted to know why I feel like I'm one of the greatest athletes, I'm gonna explain to you right here. So the weekend the week started off, um, keep in mind we had to catch a flight to Miami, it was in Miami, 95 degree weather or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and we had to catch a flight, if I'm not mistaken, the game was on Saturday, we used to catch a flight like the day before, so that was leaving out on Friday, um, you know what I'm saying, um, I usually go get haircuts on away games on Thursdays, you know what I'm saying, to make sure I'm fly, it was a, it was a ESPN joint. Everybody was in attendance. It's the number two team who was probably supposed to be the number one team, and they had might have got bumped down to number two for whatever reason during that part of the season. It's, um, it's very early in the season. Keep in mind, this is not towards the end of the season. We're still, you know, three games, two games in. <clears throat> so, remember I told you I, I usually go get haircuts on Thursday. Thursday comes around. I'm answering questions all week or whatever, you know, but I'm going to get into that. Thursday comes around, no, I'm going to get a haircut. I get into an accident where I almost could have lost my life um, from a dude in my lane that tries to make a U-turn in the middle of the, of, of the street, a two-lane highway, a bisection, uh, a section, excuse me. I don't know if it was how it might have been a freeway type of joint or whatever, but he tries to make a U-turn in the middle and clips me off. And I ended up hitting the steering wheel. I had my seatbelt on, thank God. Ended up hitting the steering wheel. My head ended up bumpy. When I talk about lumpy, I mean like you would have thought I was in a, in, a, in a boxing joint. You know what I mean? My forehead is mad, mega lumped up right now. Like some concussion shit slash, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm getting paid. Everything is good. But it's like, yo. It's the number two team in the country. Like, well, I don't need this right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm not missing this game for nothing. This is my career right here. I'm, I went into the game in this mindset saying I'm going to the league with the 25 players that I scouted on this team that went to the league that was all first rounders. Out of the 25, maybe 20 of them or 15 of them was first rounders. You absorbing what I'm telling you? 
when you got legendary players like V um W um RP was on that team. You had your K um W that was on that team, the initial king. You know what I'm saying? For my dudes, man. FG, shout out to my man Gore. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you had so many yo hitters that was official. Rest in peace, ST, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going against the greatest athletes, and this is my chance to show case to them that I'm one of the greatest athletes and I deserve to go to the league. Like, you know what I mean? Like they're going to the league and I'm first round, like they're first round. You guys know what I'm telling you? <clears throat> so this is like the number the, the, the loudest game to me because it was the game that I wasn't supposed to come out of regular. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But um, okay, so keep in mind now, um I get hit. I'm hit. The dude hits when I hit him, I'm going like forty five miles per hour. It's the speed limit is fifty. He's turning around in the middle of the joint. I end up hitting him. I can't avoid him. If I avoid him, I'm gonna get in like a bigger accident. I end up hitting him, hitting my head on the steering wheel. I'm banged up. I hop out the whip. The joint is smoky, like it's about to blow up. I run, run over to see, make sure dude is all right. I'm stumbling out the joint, mad coffee stuff. You know what I mean? All of that, like it's dumb real, like it's stupid real, like it's not. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he's. I'm hoping he's all right or whatever. We both end up being all, all right. Thank you know what I mean? Thank God. I got decisions to make, man. The ambulance is on the way. Everything is crazy. It's mad hectic right now. The, the staff doesn't even know. My team doesn't even know. I just been in a yo. I'm in an accident. We about to fly out. We're headed to Miami, baby. <laughs> there is no missing this. How do you tell them I gotta miss this? I'm in a hospital and I can get probably two mil, three mil off of this. How do I tell my team that? You absorb what I'm telling you when I tell you injuries at the wrong time through my career. And these people don't understand what I mean when I say this. You know, I hate to have to even go into a topic about injuries um, at the wrong time and how it's crazy. But keep in mind, I got concussion-like conditions now. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a doctor that wouldn't have given me that because of the lump on my head. Um... I say, nah, I'm talking to the training staff now. I'm like, nah, I'm not missing this. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to my advisors, um, you know, people that I had worked with on my team. They're telling me, yo, sit, sit out. You can sit out. Sue this dude, you know, for, for weight, for lost sums. You know what I'm saying? For the rest of the season, be out. You know, there's a couple of things. When you're dealing with head trauma, you know, the neck and all of that, that's real. You know, you can get paid off of that. I'm like, yo, I'm not leaving my team, man. I got 50 dudes that 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 need me, that look up, to, that look to me, to make plays, that really know that what I could do, that you know they know they see this in practice. I, I'm I put out. This the this is it. This is the, the the game where everybody's watching right here. It's on TV. It's live for the world to see. I can't miss this. So I'm sitting in my room that night. I never forget it, yo. And I'm sick, yo. It was like the sickest feeling, yo, because I really need to miss this game. This is real. This is not my fault. I happen to be in an accident. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So you know me. It's playing time right now. Everybody got that attendant of every 9 o'clock we here. 6, 7 o'clock we here. 8 o'clock we in the tail checked in. Um, 9 o'clock we eating steak and lobster. I'm on that flight. I land in Miami. It's 90 degrees. With a heat index of who knows what. We in the middle of a little Havana. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like I could shoot a gun. Like, like this is where they shot Scarface at. This is what we looking like, right? What it's looking like right now. And I'm about to go against these these dudes on, on, on national television that are ready to they'll go to work. Everybody goes to work. This is what they do. I just gave you seven hitters that was official, you know what I mean? Um, I could give you another 20 more of who all, everybody was well represented. They was really live, it, you know, and this is what they do. They, they're playing for tradition and, you know, upholding, you know, the, what's going on, with what they got going on in Miami. This is what they do. Their family's here. All their hitters is in the building. Dan Marino plays here. This is the Orange Bowl. This is where everybody played at, where Miami, the 72 Dolphins played at. You absorb what I'm telling you? This is the liveest joint right here. I'm stepping out. I don't care. So I was able to get some little uh, cap or something that I threw on top of my joint just in case you know, I got some close-ups 
so you couldn't really see the, the, the lump like that or whatever, whatever. I didn't want to really look like that on TV, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm out. Let's get it. So I'm going to take you through, you know, my fans want me to they love when I get deep. It's for my loyalty fans right here, you know, mainly. I don't know if I lost my critics or I, or if I definitely lost my haters by now. More than likely, haters fans, I'm sorry. <laughs> but let's say, um, yeah, we in the mix now. And I'm dealing with three linemen, offensive linemen that, that, that's first rounders. Um, to go along with a tight end that was, that was oh man, that was supposed to be the, the number one the thing. Um, shout out to my man, um, Kellen, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's war time with, with this back, you know, that everybody knows right now. Frank was official, you know, Frank followed his line and Frank, you know, he stayed low to the ground and he tucked the rock. Like that was his thing. You know, you wasn't really trying to, you wasn't ripping it out of his hand like that. And he was just, you know, follow, he was crazy, he's crafty, um, and you had hitters, you know, you had your receivers, you know, that was out here that ran whatever, whatever. Not to mention you had, the, you know, the, um, my man Hester was in that game. Um, you had speed everywhere, man. Just know that. So, this, you know, around this, the first half comes around, you know, they're telling us drink mad water the whole throughout the whole joint, the hotel process, everything. Every, drink water, drink water. That's like what they're, they're pumping at. You know, we're, we're drinking, but we're not drinking good or fast enough, obviously, because the sec the first half, half of my, you know, I started cramping. Everybody was cramping. You absorbing what I'm telling you? The heat is pumping now. The game is jumping. It's still a close game throughout, I think, almost to like the, the third game, the third quarter. They playing this. Keep in mind, this is what they playing. This is what they practicing. This is, they, they, you know, this is nothing for, for, my, for my hitters down there. And do their thing. Shout out to everybody on that team that do their thing. Rest in peace. ST, baby, we love you. We miss you. You know that. Um, <clears throat> but um, Mayweather, what's the deal, baby? Mayweather, yeah. Um, Roscoe, what's the deal, baby? Um, I had to shout out a couple more people before I get back into the joint. You know what I'm saying? But we down here, and it's like, yo, let's get it in. We can win this game. I know we're not favored. Everybody knows we're going to lose. Everybody got us to lose. It's the number two team in the country, whatever, whatever. Um, and it was one of my loudest joints. Like I said, I um, I did my thing. I could have did a lot better, but under the conditions like I'm, I just gave you, the conditions that I'm dealing with, I'm cramping already. It's the second joint. I made a few plays already. By now, boys um, still probably might not know who I am yet, though. I got to find a way to shake this cramp off without the world knowing, without ESPN knowing. And still do my thing. So they're um they're trying to throw a little bit. I think they got the first joint off with a bomb, boom, something through the bomb like 50 yards or whatever. Um, I was like two seconds late. He got it off. It was a touchdown. He scored. But keep in mind they had a balanced attack that year. You know what I'm saying? Um, grading out wise, I feel it was a, maybe a 92. You know, for all my fans that wanted to know what I graded out in there, it was still in the 90s, though, for my, you know, for the conditions, number one. Number two, for the position that they had me playing, you I was playing D-tackle against the number two team in the country. Are you kidding me? In a three-man front. So, I mean, at two, probably 225, 226 at the most. You know what I'm saying? And we, I didn't get washed. In a line like that, where, where, where you know four members went to the, the first round, I'm holding my own. They're double teaming me. Everything is crazy. Um, 92, 94, I say, you know what I'm saying? Because I could have got that sack. I wanted that sack on that touchdown or a strip on that touchdown that he threw um, to get off. Um, but they had a balanced attack. That was their thing. They was running. That, that was, they had their running back. That was that was the lead material. He was going. It wasn't a doubt about it. And they was running and passing, you know, so, but we was, you know, kind of applying a little bit of what you call resistance. Because I think, um, it was, like I said, it was low scoring until, like, it got out of hand maybe until the, towards, like, the, um, the third quarter or whatever. Uh, I don't know if they were just putting on a show or whatever. But we was clearly undermatched for their, their elite weapons and talent that they had, you know, when you're dealing with 25 to maybe I three or four that we had that was, you know, that you could throw out there. Um, and it was what it was, you know. 
Um, but a lot in terms of 